Shadow Morn, the most powerful weapon in the Wrath of the Lich King. Not only does it have the best DPS stats, but it also has a very special visual effect that instantly lets other know that you have the best weapon. Nice thing to have for flex in game. So, how did I get it? How many ICC's heroic runs I did? Almost none. I got mine with gold. In Varman trade you can exchange gold for coins and for coins you can buy items which you want. 100% drop rate I would say. You probably wonder how did I farm so much gold? How long did it took me? Stick around and I will reveal all my stats about making gold for this particular item. The real truth is that if you watched my other videos then you should already know the answer to this question. Most of my gold income came from Eternal Earths. Yes, yes, I was making rings which I disenchanted into enchanting mats which I used to make enchants for sale. Sounds complicated, but it's very simple. When I posted my video about AFK tutorial for making gold with jewel crafting and enchanting, at the end I sold my materials on auction house and I made some profit which was not bad at all. Players were buying my auctions, they were making a chance I was making gold from my sales. But then I stopped doing that and instead of selling plain mats I started also to make a chance to maximize my profits. So basically Two gold making methods merging into one better which gave me a lot of good results. And boy oh boy, the golds were just coming. Let me show you my statistics of sales. This is all from TSM add-on which collect all data you buy and you sell, including overall profits per day, items which you bought, items which you sell, etc. By the way, I will make another TSM video tutorial, let me know in the comments if you are interested in that or not. Back to earnings. Some days I had 20k profit, some days 5k, but on average more than 10k. And I didn't need to come online at 7pm for guild trade every single day of the week, playing with some bad group, wiping a lot, stay late and losing nerves. No, I don't like that. With this method I can play every day, one day a week or one day a month, with no stress. Been there before in guilds, which always ask to log in on what group needs, so mostly already full on warriors or paladins, and most of the time I had to play healer. Which I like to play, but going into guild raid for Shadowmorn quest was not always the case. So instead I decided that since I'm kinda good at, at making gold, why not use that gold to get this legendary weapon and don't even think if Shadowfrost shard will drop or will group wipe at Lady Heroic or not. One last trade to do to get to 150 coins. You can see that I put around 50k gold for 14 coins. If my trade would cost 15 coins, then I would get also 13 points, since the fee for 15 coins is 1 coin more, so in total 2 coin as fee. So make sure you have your trades with less coin fee to get more coins. And after only 1 hour my trade was successful and I can finally buy myself my desired item. Boom, done. Got 150 coins. Time to get Shadowmorn on my Paladin. Let's select character, find Shadowmorn and buy it. Simple as that. No 50 plus ICCs, few clicks and we got it. Now is the time to check the mail. And it's there, finally. After around 600k gold, I got it. Let me equip it. Uh, what? I can't equip it? Oh god, that's a bummer. I'm so stupid. Uh, let me fix this. Time to visit a weapon master in Ironforge. The only problem is that I can't remember where it is. So, while I find and learn two-handed axe skill, make sure to subscribe to this channel.
it's only a click for you and it means a whole world to me. Leave a like and ask me anything in the comment section below. I'm always happy to answer each and every one of you. Ok, after some time I managed to finally find this hidden NPC. The next problem is that my X skill is zero, so I can't test it or see the visual effect of Shadowmorn. To fix that, in Blasted Lands you have mob which you can kill only with quest item, so it's perfect to max out my skill and go AFK for several minutes. Until I max out my two-handed axe, I just wanna say one thing to all of you watching. This video is only for inspiration for all gold making players. If you have any good source of making gold, grind until 200k, then turn them to coins. But don't turn all 200k gold into coins, because you need some capital to work with. I usually leave my cell with minimum of 100k. The more gold you have, the even more you can make. Rich players get more rich every day, just like in real life. It's time for some enjoyment, before I start to make gold again for the next giveaway, which will be very soon. Thanks for watching, see you again in some other in-game tips video.